Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you guys a drill that was requested from one of our subscribers. So um, this is called the 30-30-30 drill, right? So there's one way to do it and there's another way to do it. We used to do it a lot in my gym uh, because there was a lot of boxers. We would pair up and do it together, so I'll explain how we did that. But basically it's three sets of 30 seconds. You normally repeat that for two times, so it would equal a total of three minutes, which is what a boxing round is. So. Each set, the first set would be like a speed, right? Like speed punching, not necessarily a speed drill, just me working the bag very fast. The next set would be like me working the bag normal, regular, just working technique, not too quick. The last one would be just power shots. I was hitting as hard as I could, always working proper technique. So I'm gonna show you guys, you can change that around, you know, you can do power first, then speed, then normal. So you can play with that, but this is basically what it would look like. So I'm gonna use it doing quick, normal and power. So my brother who's filming right now, he's gonna, he, he's just at the timer. You're gonna hear the 30 seconds go on, okay? So first round, this is gonna take a minute and a half and then I'll explain how we did it uh, after. Okay, so that is basically what the drill looks like and it would be repeated twice. So first round with speed where I tried to really, really not take too much time between my combos like It was just quick combos, as quick as I could. I wasn't focusing so much on power even though I was, you know, speed equals power, right? So I still was hitting pretty hard but uh, it was more just about the speed, no break, right? So then the second part, which is the normal phase, right? The normal phase is me just working combo. So you saw I took a little bit more breaks. I was setting myself up, working just technique. You saw me work all that, right? It's more of a technique round. You still want to get some power in there. You still want some speed, but it's not as much as the first round. And the last round was all the power shots, just me hitting as hard as I could. I was throwing bombs, you guys can see I was throwing as hard as I could each one, trying to maintain technique because that simulates the first part of the round, which is usually the real quickest because everybody has the most energy as soon as the round starts. It's usually the fast round, especially in amateur fights. A lot of guys who are new go in there just trying to knock you out, so you have to be quick, you have to be quick and very technical, so that's the first round. Then by the, usually middle of the round, the guys get tired, right? So they start slowing up. So it's still technical, you're still working combinations, but because you start slowing down, it's not as fast, but you still have to be technical. So that's why we do the middle. And the last round is power, because let's just say he got a little too tired, I caught him with a nice shot and I want to finish him. So we have to train ourselves to, to fight. The way we train is the way we're gonna fight, right? So if I train myself to go fast, slow, power, fast, slow, power, that's how I'm gonna fight in my rounds. Start out the round fast, work in technique, tire the guy out, I can slow up a little bit so I don't burn myself out, and then when I hurt him, I'm gonna really try to get him. Like, I want him out, I don't wanna fight anymore, I want him to be down, and that's it, I win, right? So, that would be repeated twice, for twice what I just did, and then that would equal my three minute round. So, 
uh, the way I used to do it was we would do it with partners because there was a lot of guys who wasn't in many bags. We used to be like, I would go first, 30 seconds, and then I would get a 30 second break, and somebody right away would jump in. So it would be like me for 30, as soon as the bell would ring, I'd jump away, the guy, other guy goes in, does the same speed round. 30 seconds in again, it's my turn. So it would be a lot longer, it would equal a total of 6 minutes, and I would do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And that's a really good way to do it with a partner, like if you only have one bag at the gym, or if you only have a bag at your house and you want to do it with your friend, but you don't want to keep waiting for each other, right? Just do it that way. You still get the same effect, it's just that I'm taking breaks in between, so you're actually going to get a lot more work to do it by yourself. But with a partner, that's how you want to do it. That's how I used to do it a lot. So doing it this way, it was definitely like different. It was a lot harder, but it's not anything I've never done. And it's something that I definitely feel like a lot of people should do because it's, you can see I'm still breathing heavy. It's so good for you. It's a really good cardio workout. It keeps the work in the bag interesting. You just need to get yourself a little bit of a, you know, a little interval timer. You can download an app that's like a boxing timer and you can set it so that it's 30 on, 30 off, you know, rings every 30 seconds, things like that. Or you can just have somebody time you, right? So hope you guys enjoyed for the, for the subscriber who requested. Thanks for requesting the video. I hope you liked it. I hope it explained what the purpose of this drill is. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more. Check out our new apparel. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's horrible. It feels so bad. Uh, uh, sweet Odin's Raven. Oh, dude. We're gonna cut this out. <laughs>